Welcome to late spring here at the Little Orchard. Uh, I haven't been back to this Little Orchard to do a video in a couple of years. One of my very first videos on the channel was a little pruning video on uh, how I prune these trees. Uh, I'm going to continue pruning today, but I'm also going to try to get into a little apple tree series here on the channel. So these trees were planted in 2009, and when they went in the ground, they were just four foot tall whips with maybe just a couple of branches, just like slightly feathered whips. And they've grown over the years, and they're about nine years old now. And the last two years, we've gotten fruit on every single tree. And some of the trees are really heavy with big apples. However, we don't spray our trees at all. And our apples are getting totally attacked on a lot of fronts. We have uh, fungal problems in the summertime. We have definitely have some rust. We have scab. And the worst problem, though, for the fruit is the plum curculio, which is a nasty little beetle that uh, lays eggs in the fruit when the fruit is just teeny tiny, a few, you know, like a few days old, when it's like a little pea-sized apple at the very beginning of its life. The plum curculio comes in, scars the skin of the, the apple, and lays eggs under the skin. And that will just deform the apple for the rest of its life. Uh, and all, all kinds of disease gets in there, and then the apples are just kind of inedible. It's not that they're just ugly, they're usually kind of rotted on the inside, and it, it just kind of creates a hole for other things to get into. And the apples at the end of the year are just not very friendly. So this year I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try for the first time to spray my apple trees. Now, our honeybees are right over the hill here, and you generally do not want to be spraying anything on your apple trees when you have honeybees right next to your orchard. However, there is a product that is an organic product that does not affect honeybees called Surround that should help with the plum curculio problem. It's a kaolin clay and it goes on the apples at a very specific time and it should create a pretty decent barrier to keep the plum curculios out and it goes on immediately after the honeybees are done with the flowers. So as soon as the petals fall off the apples, the bees are done with the apple trees. You hit them with this spray and that should help disrupt the cycle of the plum curculio. So the first step in this little series, we're going to put together a brand new sprayer that goes on the back of the tractor. And then as soon as these trees blossom, the petals fall off, we're going to hit them with the surround. All right, here it is. This is not a sponsored video. Uh, I bought this thing online. I'm going to build it for you and see how it works. This is an honest, comprehensive review of the Fimco 40 gallon three point hitch. Boom, handheld, nozzle, sprayer. There's the beast. is just going to be a hand sprayer. All right, so that's the basic. There is a boom here, but I'm not gonna use the boom sprayer because I'm planning on using this strictly for spraying my apple trees up in the air. I'm not gonna be putting anything on the ground. So right now I'm not gonna hook up the boom. I'm gonna leave it like this. And that is the basic instruction. That was pretty easy, it took like an hour. All right, we got the tractor now. We're gonna hitch up the pump to the three-point hitch. I'm gonna fill it up, make sure it's not leaking, connect the battery, and we're gonna test this thing out. It appears 
the tank is not leaking, so that's that's good news. Something that uh, I didn't realize when I bought this was the battery on my tractor is a six volt system. This is a 1961 tractor. It's got a six volt battery. The pump on this runs on a 12 volt battery. So I picked up a little 12 volt battery to run the pump rather than tie into my tractor battery. Not the best solution, but this should be really simple. Power's not quite what I expected, but it seems to work. All right, the first thing I'm gonna try with this sprayer is the dormant oil spray. This is three, three ounces per gallon. I don't have a ton in here right now, so I have enough for 10 gallons. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do 10 gallons and just sort of test the sprayer out and probably do a few trees with this. So one of the reasons I got this particular sprayer is because it has an agitator built in. This pump is taking the liquid up from the reservoir, going through the pump and then recirculating it through this. And that recirculation actually agitates the mix. So when you open this thing up, it's actually uh, mixing. So this is pumping up through the pump, through here, and it's going back down here. And that, what that's doing is it's not only releasing the pressure, if you have too much pressure, but it's, it's giving you a little mix. All right, let's go give it a shot. So this is my first uh, powered sprayer, and definitely my first sprayer of this size. I've used the, the pump sprayers, and I have a backpack sprayer that you pump like this, and you can spray. It's like a four gallon sprayer. This is 10 times the size. It's got a decent pump. Uh, it's got a nice wand. I'm not gonna use the boom, uh, because I'm not spraying ground or herbicides or anything. This is purely for spraying apple trees. Today I did a dormant oil spray. I gotta get some more to finish up those trees. But I am going to try the surround kaolin clay organic apple spraying this year. So that's why I got this and that's gonna be another video. But for now, just as a, a, an attempt, I got this thing put together, got the battery hooked up, tried it out. Everything worked great. So, thumbs up, ready for spring. And again, this is not a sponsored video at all. I, I bought all this stuff. I know people ask this stuff in the comments. Uh, if you're curious, this is a super start battery. It's a 12 volt battery. And this is the absorbed glass matte battery. This isn't your uh, regular like acid battery. Um, it's sealed, it's uh, made for things like lighting. It's not like a car battery that needs like a constant trickle charge. This is made to be used, uh, you know, used down and then charged back up again. So, Super Start, Power Sport, this was like 90 bucks US. And uh, all this stuff, wiring harness, and the, uh, and the switch came with, with the sprayer. So, this whole thing was about $400, including the battery. So, that's about it. Thanks for watching.